Welcome back to Let's Play Peanut Bee. In the last episode, we did stages one through three, and we learned a little bit about more about the game. I'll be going a little bit more into depth about certain things today. And this episode, we're gonna be episodes. We're gonna be doing stages four through six. So let's get right back into it. So unfortunately, I had a weird memory card error with the Peanut Bee, so I had to quickly redo uh, stages one through three. So my items look a little different to say the least so apologize apologies for that but back in the game we go so now we have two dashes and bubbles and oh my god fun stuff and we're back in exploring exploring looking for them golden enemies and basically make sure we just don't get hurt. Yeah, some of these are harder jumps to nail. Cool. I was just thinking before I started recording today, I was like, yeah, this would be a fun game to do the speedrun. Not actually gonna do it though. And uh, you'll see why. Um, right now, the game seems really easy for what it's worth. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably like, you know, yeah, I, you could speedrun this. It wouldn't be that bad. Like, obviously I'm not doing optimal right now in terms of platforming, but, you know, you know. Oh, oops. I forgot to hit the circle. Oh, come on. Spider enemies are one of the worst, because I don't really know where their hitbox is supposed to be. See, like, they have these thorns, and you're just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to dash. Oh, wait, I can't. That's cool. I'm almost close to being dead. Ugh. Look at all that stuff over there to the left that I could have gone to. Can I even make that? No, I need. I would need to somehow dash over there, and it's not happening. Not yet. Uh, let's see. Anything else? No, because you just. Yeah, because you can run up there. So, if you can kind of see it, that third block from the top there is more crumpled. I believe those you can dash into and break. I'm not certain, though. It's been a while. I'm pretty sure those you can kind of crinkle up and break. There's going on me. Not gonna die, not gonna die, not gonna die. Not gonna die. Oosh, 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 oosh. Help me go. So for the most part, like, I do have... Full heal? Yay. I have most of the early stages memorized. Even though I haven't played in gosh knows how long. Like... Officially played the game since I was hard. Yeah, if you so if you have an item, uh, Peony will tell you I already have this, so I'm not gonna grab it, which is cool because you don't want duplicates. You only have so much space. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I haven't really played it since I was a kid, and only recently have I been trying it again. But I did not actually beat the game. I was just playing it for the heck of it. So this little door in front of us is a teleporter. Where will it take us? Well, let's find out. There we go. So far over. And now we can just kind of walk our way back. Teleporters can be blessings or they can be curses in this game. You don't exactly know where you're going to end up. Because there's no real indicator that this isn't... Because uh, because they're two-way, there's no real indicator like, Oh, this is, this is where this one will take you. Come on. This is where this one will take you. Okay, so this is a time shield, so yellow is going to become red at some point. If you get hit, you just automatically lose a shield. Or not. Oh, is this, is this one of those other shields? Oh, right, it's time. Ow. Is there anything else here? Yeah, because it's timed. You guys see, you get infinite hits. I don't remember too much, I'm sorry. Also, sick music, huh? We're just killing two weird, like, piranha plant looking things that are not actually piranha plants. And we're right back to the teleporter. End away! Don't hit the bubbles, and land on the door! Perfection! I did what Grandpa told me to and broke that seed-filled bubble in Two Cozy Forest. I don't see what good it did me. Did something. 
I don't really see how anything I've done so far has helped me. Jeez, I totally forgot about Grandpa! Where could he be? I beat the Golden Enemy today and I slowed the enemy's revolution. Which is cool, because Peanut Beat is smiling. And onto Gloomy Road! With a nice change of decor. So one criticism I do have Peanut Beat is the game rotates through like the same two or three sets of songs. And it is at this point in the game where you really need to look at the map. Do you see these cannons? They'll take you places. And whew. Anyone get Donkey Kong Country vibes? With all the barrels and Donkey Kong Country 2 Bramble, Bra Bramble Blast? Um, it's now at this point where the levels are starting to get a bit bigger and a bit more complex. So, oh, come on, PNB. So, checking the map definitely helps, and just kind of keeping- oh my goodness. Hey, just please, dog! It- oh. You need to check the map, and make sure you don't get lost. Because that will happen, and you could die, like I'm about to, unless I get a battery. Because fudge of flowers do anything for me. Literally, I'm at 100 energy, they do nothing for me. I'm not sure what they were going for, or if there was an intention. Oh, thank goodness. If there was an intention for them to do something, I don't know. Like, look at this, this is, these cans are taking me everywhere. So I should mention that since this was a Game Boy game, we didn't actually get the Game Boy version, but... Be Ooh, that was almost bad! Thank you for giving me 3 dash! I almost dashed into her! Uh, you... There were instances in the game where you could share these items with the GBA link. I unfortunately can't show that off as much as I would like to, but this is the thing. Okay, so this big old thing... He's gonna draw you in with electricity, and you can dash away from it, but it'll electrocute you if you get near it, please. Okay. Sweet, and that's the other level, so let's do some flowers. I don't think there was anything special to this level. It was just the golden enemy. Because we got the fairy. There might have been something there. The game will tell you, like, if you had not hit the golden, uh, the flower seed in Two Cozy Forest, it would be like, you know, I really should have hit that flower seed in Two, two Cozy Forest. May 29th. Next time I see that fairy, I want to tell her not to be so stingy with the dash power. She's got a short temper, though, so I'm kind of worried. That's basically telling you don't sting her. I beat the golden enemy today, and I slowed the enemy's revolution. Ah, <sighs> see those audio cuts? They just kind of, they just happen. And you really can't do anything about it. Alright, favorite song of the game. So we have three dashes, which is awesome. If you feel like you don't need your third dash, just dash down. That's all I usually do. But eventually, if you just stand there, you can even just let's go. Now this one I remember is confusing on me how it does cannons. Because it takes you everywhere. I think the golden enemy, he's around this area, if I recall. Because then you go over here, and yeah. There's also a switch we gotta hit. He could also be over here. Yeah, this level, look how big this level is. Look at this level. And there's also cricket at the end. Uh, but I didn't mention this before, but if you hit X when you're on the map, it'll instantly teleport you right back to Pinobi. Just so you don't lose your bearings in the map itself. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's all I want to do. Because I need to remember where the golden enemy is. Because that helps killing those. So essentially for the endings, you need to get... So there's a set amount of diary entries that Pinobi does, based on the amount of levels that are in the game and whatnot. You need to get 
most, if you can't get all of them, yay, but if you can get most of them to be smiling faces, you're good for the really good ending. If you can get not half, but like a little bit more than half, then you get the good ending, not the best ending. And if you do neutral, about half, you get the neutral ending, and I think you figure out the last two. What does Pinobi's face look like when, uh... Please, 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 please! Oh. So what does Pinobi's face look like when you have a not smiling face? So if you go for the good ending... What am I doing? I gotta go find a cannon. God, I'm just rambling. I'm not stalling for time, I swear. So if you have the, just like, the regular good ending... Uh, Pinobi will just do like a regular smile. And if you do the neutral ending, he'll just kind of like have a straight face. If you do the bad ending, he'll be frowning. And if you do the really bad ending, he'll have bangs. Which I think is pretty cool. It's cool, but it's not good. Exploration! I do find it very surprising that a lot of people didn't know about this game. Like, as a kid, I just was like, how do people not know about it? It's such a good game. But, when you think about it now, I realize, yeah, this really wasn't a popular game, and I can see why. I just... I don't see myself going to my local GameStop or something and be like, man, I can't wait to pick up Pino B. Where's that switch? It's over there. Oh, I need to find this golden enemy! You're gonna see I delay my dashes just so I can get the most distance. I pressed the wind switch, but that'll come into play later. I already have this. Yeah, we're getting a lot of repeats, aren't we? Where is this going? No! Where else have I not looked? Did I look over there? I could have sworn I did, but I can just check to make sure. Oh yeah, I totally looked here. And maybe it's by the cricket. For the select few songs that this game does have, they're pretty great. You can't hate him. Oh. I heard it. Oh, there you are! I found you. Where in the map is this? Oh, underneath the health crystal. Okay, so if I ever play this game again, I remember. Oops. Oops. Cool. Now we can make it to the end. If I recall correctly, health crystals also count as checkpoints. Where are you taking me? Ah! They recall. I think they count as checkpoints. You need to start over from the, from the beginning of the level, but I'm not gonna test it. I really don't want to test that theory. Why did I heard the cut of music and I thought, oh, we must be near the end, where the cricket is, but we're not. There he is. Blah 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 blah. I haven't really talked much graphically about the game. I think graphically the game looks pretty good for a PS1 game, like the way Pinobi's animations are. Minus his big head that happens. And he has a cool idol animation. Let's take a show the idol animation. We saw it in the beginning, like literally the first thing in the game. It just kind of stares at you. Bounces his head around. And that's it! June 5th, I saw Cricket again, and he wanted to talk. I kept quiet this time and listened to him for a change. It turned out that he wanted to tell me what a good robot I was. It felt weird. Maybe it was all just a daydream. I beat the goal enemy today, and I slowed down the enemy's evolution. Let's do a quick check on items, how we're doing. No. Don't hit triangle. So we're almost at a bingo. For enemy strength level to decrease, which is cool. We can also take less damage soon. Less damage soon, and... RNG will go down slower. Which, again, 
it apparently is supposed to do something. I'm not sure if that talks about, like, if it's, like, your movement speed, your jump height, or anything, but it just... I haven't really noticed a difference between having high energy and low energy, if not zero, so... I don't know. Next time on PW, we'll be doing stages 7 through 10. See you then!